Hi guys, I'm Deb. Today I'm going to make the most amazing lemon chicken. It's from a place, it's a healthy fast food chain in New York City. They just recently expanded to Boston and Philly. It used to be called The Pump. Then they changed their name to Dig In. Then last year they changed their name to Dig. Next year they're changing their name to Dip. When they were the pump, they were like a bodybuilder's place. They even had a cookbook and it had a two week diet plan. One for losing weight and one for bulking up. I accidentally went on the wrong one. They had this amazing lemon chicken. They started phasing it out from the location I would frequent, so I would travel to another location. Then they started phasing it out from that location. I decided to email them. I asked them for the recipe. They said no. No! Disappointed! But I was like, you're phasing it out! I need this lemon chicken! I was like a one-woman campaign to stop the insanity of them ending this massively delicious meal. Stop, stop the insanity. insanity! Stop the insanity? Stop this woman! That's what you guys came here for, right folks? Topical humor. Somehow, because of that exchange, I got put on their email list. And one random day in 2018, they emailed with a recipe to try. Their lemon friggin' chicken. I'm not complaining or anything, but like, what the f Let me show you how I make it. I start with a brine of one half gallon water to one quarter cup salt. I boil this until the salt is dissolved and let it cool in the fridge overnight. Next, I place the brine and four pounds of chicken in a Ziploc bag for 16 to 20 hours. For the marinade, I soften one quarter cup garlic and one quarter cup of oil. I use something neutral tasting like safflower oil. Once the garlic is softened, into the blender this goes with an additional one quarter cup of oil, one cup of water, two teaspoons of sea salt, one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of black pepper, and 10 sprigs of lemon thyme chopped. I'm literally growing lemon thyme specifically for this recipe. I blend it all together until smooth. I've taken my chicken out of the brine and rinsed them of all that salty water. I put them into my Dutch oven, add the marinade, and two halved lemons that I've squeezed the life from. This goes into my preheated 500 degree oven for about 30 minutes. I use a thermometer to make sure the thickest piece of chicken's temp reads 165. Then you could slice them, shred them, eat them any way you like them. My favorite is to shred them and bag them into four ounce Ziplocs and freeze them for an easy quesadilla meal. Oh my f It is so good. I guess it's the brine, but it is so juicy. It is so tender. You gotta try this. Sometimes I leave it whole like a breast. Sometimes I shred it. I'll put it in a salad. I'll put it in a quesadilla. I'll put it in a taco. Sometimes I let it shine just all on its own. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay home. You guys are not staying home. Seriously, you're not staying home. The Rock got coronavirus. The Rock! He's a friggin' national treasure, guys! You're putting him in danger, people! Stay home! Disappointed! <laughs>